We're now going to attempt a UK Maths Challenge Junior Edition question. And with permission from the UKMT, I've re reproduced it here. First, though, I would recommend having a go at the question and then perhaps seeing how I did it and see how much we did it in the same way, in a different way, and see if you get the same answer. I make mistakes, so my method might not be be perfect but hopefully we get the same answer here's the question in this addition each letter stands for a different digit with s standing for three what is the value of y times o so the y times o at the end 0 2 36 40 or 42 first thing i'm thinking to do is replace the s's with threes so to write it out nice and neatly and replace the S with a 3, just so I can kind of see what's going on. And the sum, if you hadn't noticed, is so plus many equals sums. Okay, many and y. And we have the 3 instead of the S. Let's bump it over here. Now, let's have a go. My first thought is to look at that O and that Y. And I bet you're probably wondering, well, that's kind of easy. The, the O plus Y must be like 2 plus 1, because then you get to the 3. But here, if that won't actually be as simple as it looks, I know it's tempting to say, O plus Y has to be 3, so it's 2 and 1. But it does seem strange they'd create a whole question. And it's a question towards the end of the paper, like a question 23. And it would be simple as just 2 and 1. Well, what else can it be, you, you might be wondering? Well, how about if O and Y add up to 13? 9 and 4? Or 8 and 5? six and seven then you still get the three down here how can we check up though to see what it might be let's look at some of the other numbers see that m what would that m be well m can't be three because we already have the three down here and i would be thinking like a one or a two for like a one thousand or two thousand because it's in the thousands column but then i thought well, if it's 1,000, how would 30-something, 30 35 or 32 or 39 or something like that, how would that push 1,000-something up to 3,000-something? So then I thought it can't be 1,000, so it must be 2,000. Then when it's 2,000, it makes sense because the 30-something the would push the 2,000 to becoming a 3,000. And if that's 2,000, for the same logic, the A would have to be 900. If A was 800 or 700, that 30 would never push 2,800 into being 3,000-something. If anything, it would only push it to 2,900. So we know M is 2, so let's replace the M's with 2's. And we can write a little list of our numbers over here. We have S equals 3 m equals 2 and my guess is that if a was a 9 it would kind of make sense because the the 30 something could push the 2900 and something over into being 3000 but if a was 8 or 700 it would the 30 something would never push it into a new thousands into, into the 3000s so i think a would be 9 So let's replace A with 9. And with these questions, you're never quite sure if you're right or not until right at the end. But let's have a look at this N now. See, it's a 3, and it needs to add up to be a 2. So that means, really, it must add up to be 12, because you can't have 3 adding up to be just a 2, or even a 22, because 3 plus 
any single digit would never be 22, so it must be 12. Now, here's where it gets a little bit interesting. We saw from the previous bit that, that this could be a 2 or a 1. The O and the Y, remember right at the beginning we thought, oh, isn't that just 2 and 1? But remember, each digit is a different digit. So we can see now that M was 2, so it can't be 2 and 1. So we were right to check out the other letters. That can't be 2 and 1, because if M is 2, so O and Y can't be 2, either of them. But if, they can't, if they're not 2 and 1, or 0 and 3, it means these two don't add up to 3. No, but they could add up to 13. If O and Y add up to 13, then it all makes sense. Because we've used up the 2 here, so it can't be 2 and 1. What different combinations could get us to 13? There's loads of different combinations. 9 and 4, 8 and 5, 6 and 7. But in all of them, they add up to 13. So we'd have a 3 down here. And we would carry the 1. Now, we have a new little challenge. We have a 3 and a 1 plus n adds to, we decided it was going to be 12. 3 and 1 is 4, so it's going to be 4 add 8 gets you to your 12. 4 add 8 gets you to the 12. Let's do it in blue. It's beginning to unravel now. I'll actually leave you to wonder what u is. Sorry for the little pun there. You can wonder out what u is, um, but I'm going to get straight to the ending of the question now. We've worked out all of this bit so far, and we're looking at O and Y. And we agreed it has to add up to 13. Now, remember those combinations we talked about? 9 and 4, 8 and 5, 6 and 7. But we've used up the 9, because A is 9. We've used up the 8, because N equals 8. So it can't be either of those two combinations. So it has to be 6 and 7. So O and Y have to be 6 and 7, or 7 and 6. There's no way of finding out whether it's 6 and 7 or 7 and 6, but it doesn't really matter. Because remember the question was, what's Y times O? Now whether it's 6 and 7 or 7 and 6, both of those give, when you multiply them, 42. So I believe the answer is 42. Now that was seriously fun, and we're going to keep doing more of those junior questions.